डॉक्टर सचिजीत रथ इज अगरकर चेयर एट द अगरकर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट इन पुणे एंड ही इज विजिटिंग सी डी आई आई फॉर एन इंडस्ट्री अकेडमी या कॉन्क्लेव एंड वी हैव अ लॉन्ग एसोसिएशन ही द फर्स्ट पर्सन हु गॉट माई गोड बाई टेलिंग मी दैट मोस्ट ऑफ साइंस इज काउंटर इंटूटिव so as i as an experimental empirical observer was interested in establishing something that i intuitively believed to be true and to test whether what i believe is correct or not through experimentation and when satyajit says that most of science is counter intuitive i do a double take and realize that the sun after all does not rise in the east and satyajit looks me looks at me with extreme supreme confidence and tells me this is how science is to be done so uh, i should i should provide a little tempering to amit's claims it is true that i said uh, most of science is counterintuitive but what i really meant and um, really anybody who wants to get excited about science should think about it in those terms is that the truly interesting the truly exciting the truly humbling science is counterintuitive we all think that it's nice to have our prejudices pandered to the moment of greatest clarity comes to you when you realize qua myth that the sun doesn't actually rise in the east although that's more a, 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 a linguistic trick that we all share rather than rather than a truly scientific insight but the reality is that if all we were doing while we are trying to work out how the world works is come up with the idea that we intuitively know how the world works and if all the experimentation all the observation all the testing that we were doing simply confirmed our intuitions more correctly our prejudices of how the world works it would do two independent not so interesting things in the first place it would be deeply truly unexciting and in the second place, it would give us far too high an opinion of ourselves than we deserve to have and it is in this sense that i think it is important for us to approach um the enterprise of science that we approach it not as some as is frequently said value neutral compendium gathering of facts figures and mechanisms whose only utility is in holding academia industry conclaves as 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 the lesser half of that conclave but instead as a fundamental human activity an activity that allows us to convert our vague and incoherent wandering of how did that happen to a more structured more systematic more collegial enterprise of asking each other do you have any idea how it happened did you test what you thought yeah that is true and uh, since this is supposed to be clickbait and satyajit has done his usual uh, double whammy by using language as well as conceptual complexity to ensure that this video will not be watched by most students um i would like to sort of make it in this sense uh, in so far as drug discovery is concerned we teach a course that is compulsory for students and therein there are a couple of lectures that i as the most faltu person in cdr i have been taking for several days for several years one is on evolutionary biology and the other is on the philosophy of science now i have noticed that generations of students are enthusiastic about attending these lectures but are extremely reluctant to either engage with biological evolution in so far it concerns drug discovery and development or with the philosophy of science and ethics and epistemology in so far as it concerns drug discovery and 
development. So now this is going to be your next few minutes are to be ethics for dummies, epistemology for dummies and evolution for dummies. देखिए पहले तो हमें पीट रहे हैं कि हम बड़ी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड भाषा में बोल रहे हैं फिर हमसे कह रहे हैं कि जब वो कोशिश करते हैं कॉम्प्लिकेटेड भाषा में कॉम्प्लिकेटेड संकल्पनाओं को आगे रखने के तो छात्र छात्राएं सुनने को राजी नहीं लेट मी रीवर्क अमित um in what i hope is simpler language he will find it familiar because i don't think i used it when i taught his uh, class more than a quarter century ago but i certainly did it from somewhere around the next year onwards if you don't like feeling an intellectual fool you shouldn't be attempting to do science well said make no mistake about it it is still important for you to become sufficiently familiar with science because familiarity with the ideas of causality that embody science is fundamental to our human i am even going to make the argument as i uh, alluded to a little bit earlier that it is fundamental to our ethicality intrinsically but that aside science kisne karni chahiye science kisne dekhni samajhni sunni chahiye sabne science kisne karni chahiye jise jise tabhi acha lagta hai जब उसकी अपेक्षाएं गलत ठहरती बिकॉज दैट इज द पॉइंट एट विच यू से हो इन दिस मैटर एवरीथिंग नॉट एवरीथिंग आई थॉट बट एवरीथिंग वी थॉट इज कॉन्ट्ररी टू टू हाउ रियलिटी and if you don't find that exciting if you find that unsettling if you find that so problematic that you would much rather avoid it it is a point of view to be respected we all carry our own ways of being it is a point of view to be respected but it is also a point of view that almost assures you that if you continue to work in science you are likely to do the mundane the incremental the safe science that will not make your contribution worthless but it will limit it in very significant ways on the other hand if you find that being intellectually wrong triggers in you the idea that there is stuff out there that's more exciting than you had ever thought of this is where you belong neither of these options are in the first place value options in the sense of they don't say anything about your worth as a person and neither of them say anything i repeat about whether we need to understand what is commonly called science which i take, take to include both natural and social science or not and it's in that territory that it's important for us to realize that what we really are trying to convey to each other in science is the absolutely mundane everyday issue can we predict the future if we can predict by and large we cannot Nonetheless we can predict the future less badly today than we could 2000 years ago and that slow communitarian collegial incremental improvement if you will 
is the whole point of the human enterprise, not simply the scientific one. And it is in that sense that the ethicality of humanness is implicit in this enterprise. We have to learn that how to उसके लिए हमने ये सीखना है कि भविष्य कैसे बनता है उसके लिए हमने से किसी एक ने काफी नहीं होना तो द सॉलिडैरिटी ऑफ द कम्युनिटी इज इंप्लिसिट इन दिस एंटरप्राइज उसी तरीके से अगर हमने कट्ठा सीखना है कि भविष्य कैसे बनता है तो भैया हमने एक दूसरे को सच बताना है कि मेरी गलती हो गई अगर ये नहीं बताएंगे अगर एक दूसरे से सच्चाई से पेश नहीं आएंगे तो कम्युनिटी एंटरप्राइज का क्या मतलब रहा कुछ भी नहीं आगे चल के हमने सिर्फ एक दूसरे को तब नहीं सच बताना है जब हमने कोई तीर मारा हमने एक दूसरे को तब सचाई बतानी है जब हम गलत हैं। No greater, more intrinsic definition of what human ethicality means can be devised even for you. And this is why make a distinction, I argue, to everybody between understanding science and doing science. Doing science, if you like, is a specialist activity for which, as I said, a certain mindset allows you to, to at least participate in the excitement a little bit more. But understanding science, that's absolutely fundamental. Yes. Hmm. I think one, there's time for one last question. Uh, well, the last question is, that this then brings us to the the enterprise of predicting future using ancient knowledge or uh, ancient intuition if you will or ancient codified systems so if we have astrology in Prachin Bharat the Tadur Bhav and then it was so if we have to do the Bhavishyavani then it will be साइंटिफिक मेथड का हिस्सा नहीं बनेगी तो अच्छा बड़े गाड़े गाड़े सवाल पूछते हैं तो जवाब इस तरीके से देते हैं कि सेंट्रल ड्रग रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट में बैठे हैं और इनके सवाल का सेंट्रल ड्रग रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट के काम से नाता जोड़ के जवाब देते हैं इसलिए फल ज्योतिष पे नहीं जाते आयुर्वेद पे जाते कहा जाता है कि आयुर्वेद पे आधारित ड्रग रिसर्च नहीं हो सकती क्यों नहीं हो रही हमारी 2000 सालों की 5000 सालों की 10000 सालों की क्या पता कितने जो कुछ है विरासत है उस विरासत का कोई उपयोग नहीं है आपको आपके आधुनिक औषध विज्ञान में सो द आंसर इज if you can take ancient knowledge out of scripture, then it serves as an extraordinarily interesting, unique starting point for beginning not only to understand the world, but to mangle an old uh, hoary coat, but to change it. The point. Now, what do I mean by that? तो मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि आयुर्वेद से वेद निकाल दो ना तो जो पीछे रहता है वो हमारा सामाजिक परंपरागत जड़ी बूटियों वाला मौसी चाची नानी वाला औषधि विज्ञान उसको हमने उसी तरीके से देखना चाहिए जैसे हम अपनी बाकी विरासतों को देखते हैं 
कि ये हमारी विरासत है इससे इसको लेकर हम आगे जाएंगे हमें लेकर ये नहीं आगे जाएगी हम इसके लिए नहीं है ये हमारे लिए एंड इन दैट सेंस हियर इज द डिफिकल्टी विथ मच ऑफ द आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज एज डिस्टिंग फ्रॉम द आइडियाज ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज द आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज is frozen in time when traditional knowledge is converted into scripture because the property of scripture is that it is not correct correctable by new investigation new ideas new experience new experimentation it is frozen in time as you unfreeze that you begin to lay open a potentially rich terrain for a different kind of investigative starting point and different kinds of investigative starting points of the most empirical kind give you great possibilities for conceptually different approaches that will change science that will change knowledge but in order for our traditional knowledge systems to become the empirical substrates of this particular kind of local adventure with global implications we need to descripturalize it to mangle language even further if any place in the country can do that in the terrain of health disease and interventions to take traditional knowledge about this and with great self confidence to descripturalize it and to make it accessible as a completely unique perspective and point of view with which to begin to understand both the biology and the sociology if you like both the genesis and the consequences of health and disease and of interventions therein decidia you want to do something as radically as independently as excitingly societally valuable as that we can see that cdri is the answer thank you so much satyajit have you enjoyed having you here hope you'll come again thank you